How's it guys and welcome to another episode of ASFN. Don't forget, at the end of this video, thumbs up. And yeah, comment below if you have any queries regarding the bait demos. Alright guys, bait number two. It's a combo bait. Now I'll explain to you why I'm using a combo bait. And for those of you guys that don't know what this prawn is, we are more familiar with the pink prawn or red prawns. Uh, this is actually the white prawns that you get from and can marine they excellent excellent bait we get a lot of this in the in the estuaries so normally when the rivers come down as well you find a lot of this uh, near the river mouths and stuff the guys actually get them in the net when they're trying to net for month and stuff so and at night if you put your torch right out uh, nearby by the rivers as soon as you put your light in the water you see these skipping through and uh, yeah they're very 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 good baits they got a similar texture to a lango or crayfish uh, compared to like a normal prawn and uh, yeah I'll, I'll show you guys how we dig this up and uh, I like to use this bait when the water is a bit discolored so in that ginger beer color water that's where you'll find me using a pink prawn as well as a, a white prawn as well okay so let me show you guys how we dig this up quickly so I'm gonna put this box one side First thing we need to do is deshell them. So you'll notice the, the shell on this prawn here is quite tough. So I keep the head intact. I just remove the top layer and then I start to deshell it. Like I said, these shells on this white prawn is quite tough compared to the pink prawn. They don't come off that easy. Try to keep the head in still. Okay, shell it. The meat is nice and firm. It's not uh, like the pink prawn at all. That's why I love using this bait. Okay, so I've got white prawn D shell, still with the head on. Pink prawn, do the exact same thing, D shell it. Check how easy this comes out. Okay, once you've got your prawns deshelled, what you then do is take the pink prawn, split it open from the top, which I'm doing there, basically butterflying them. So I've got that nice and open. Do the exact same thing with white prawn, but just behind the head. Cut it open. More. That's it there. Perfect. Don't worry so much about the tail. Take your hook. I put the white prawn on first. Just below the head. And I turn him inside out onto the hook. Get your cotton. And you start finding your cotton slowly onto it. I lightly put cotton, I don't put a lot of cotton on the front. Towards the end, this is where I cotton it heavily. Perfect. Two half inches. One, two, full time. Okay. Then take my ping prong underneath where the head is. I cotton it there. Take the cotton. Again, in the front. I'm not putting a lot of cotton, just a little. I want the bait to remain nice and soft. That's basically it. A couple of half inches. One, two, one more. 
Okay. We'll cut them off. Just not this area for you guys quickly. And that's basically the paint that I'll be using. A lot of flavor, a lot of scent in the water. Um, like I said, the white prawn has a totally different flavor, texture, as well as scent compared to the pink prawn. So you got the best of both. And this head holds a lot of flavor as well. So I keep that on and that just dangles there. And yeah, like, like I said, remember, I'll be using this bait into a ginger color water and uh, temperature doesn't really matter with this bait, whether it's cold or warm. This works well all around, but key points, like I said, ginger color water is when I use this, because remember, these prawns, you find them in the rivers, and when the rivers come down, they get washed out into sea, and that's where the bronze beam and stuff Get to feed these things a lot feed on the square a lot so yeah hope you guys like this bait and i hope you guys try it cheers